Hi guys, in this session we are going to discuss about secondary roles. Suppose think that for my user there are two roles assigned. Using first role I can access a set of tables. Using second role I am accessing another set of tables. In this case suppose think that for my user there are two roles assigned. Using first role I can access a set of tables. Using another role I am able to access another set of tables. Think that there is a situation where I want to join two tables in a single query. In that query, to access table 1, I should log in with role A. To access table B, I should log in with the role role B. So how can I join? To overcome this situation, Snowflake has an idea that is secondary roles. Secondary roles uses a class called all. What it means? It combines all the privileges which are covered in different roles for a given user. If I use my secondary role, I should be able to join the tables which are covered in two different roles. Okay, so this is the theory of the secondary roles. Let's quickly check this practically. So to demonstrate that, I have written a script. First, I am creating a user called Mark and I have created two different roles. One is ETL dev user, the other one is ETL prod user. And I am creating two different databases. One is like devdb, another one is proddb. And I am creating a table under dev database saying employee. And I am creating a table with the same name employee under production database. Now, in this part, I am granting the privileges to the role etl dev user. Here, I am giving the privileges to the role etl prod user. So to the dev role, I am giving full access on employee table, which is in dev database. To the ETL prod user, I am giving full rights on employee table, which is in prod database. Finally, I am assigning both the roles to the user mark. Now let's go and run this script. Now we have everything ready to complete this demo. Okay. Now let's log in with the user mark. See here, John has assigned with these two roles, ETL dev user, ETL prod user. Let me take ETL dev user and select the warehouse. Now let me query employee table, which is in dev database. Mark is able to access a table, which is in dev database. Now. He want to access employee table which is in prod database. See he is getting a message database prod db does not exist or not authorized. So to access the product table, Mark have to switch his role. Now he can access the prod table. But how he can access both the tables? Right, that's what the problem. So to overcome that, we can use alter user command, alter user mark, say set default secondary roles is equal to all. When I run this command, what Snowflake does is it combines all the privileges which are granted to you through different roles as a group. Now let me run this command. Now go to mark session. If Mark want to access both the tables, this time Mark should say use secondary role all. Once he runs this command, he will be able to access both the tables. See, suppose if he wants to give up this secondary roles, he can say use secondary role none. It means Mark no more using his secondary role. I hope you enjoyed this. A small session and you came to know about secondary roles in snowflake thank you for watching this video and thank you for subscribing this channel see you 